Oh. Is this a joke? Hello and welcome to Taskmaster. I'm Greg Davis and I've been Taskmaster for some time now. And sometimes children stop me in the street and they say, why are you so mean? And I always smile and I reply, why are you talking to me? You don't know me. Where are your parents anyway? What are you, feral? Look at me, look at me. Are you crying now, are you? Good, get your mum. Get your mum and I'll tell her the same. I'm not scared of your mum. <laughs> so, let's meet the in-the-studio children desperate for Daddy's approval. <laughs> they are Alan Davis. <laughs> Gaz Ray Birch. Gaz Khan. Morgana Robinson. And Victoria Corrin Mitchell. And sitting next to me, a man who once drunkenly told me that when it comes to childcare, he doesn't think his wife Rachel pulls her weight. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Look at it all! <laughs> Might be the worst one, I think. <laughs> How are you? I'm all right, I'm very calm. Oh, good. Why are you so calm? You know, I've started meditating. I'm listening to some motivational, confidence-boosting music. Can I hear it? It's quite personal. Let's have a listen. I don't know if this will work. Greg, he's just a man called Greg. 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 He'll be the Taskmaster soon. That's fine. That's all right. That's all right. You may well end up being the Taskmaster soon, but I promise you this, there is only one way that will happen, and I will have to die. <laughs> Good. Right, <laughs> what have we got for the prize task this week? Well, Greg, you've asked them to bring in the best thing that has quite a few layers. Ooh, five points will be awarded for the best thing with quite a few layers, and the winner of the episode will go home all layered up, like the thick leg of an Arctic explorer, all wrapped up in lovely thermals from one of those outdoor equipment shops. Right. Victoria. Yes. What's the thing you brought in with lots of layers? A poultry farmer. Oh, Here it is. <laughs> okay. A little toy poultry farmer with lots oh. of oh, chicken layers. layers. Oh, <laughs> very punny. It's it's a joke. It's a pun, and I I love jokes. And the joke is layers. Yeah. Chickens lay eggs. Exactly. Yeah. They lay. Oh, you were waiting for that setup. To, yeah. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> and that's just got more points. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's be absolutely clear, it is a shit joke. OK, we're everything with a lot of layers here, cos they lay eggs. Da-da, it's a joke. Oh, thank you, I've decided. OK. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What I brought in is uh, Niller wafer pudding. Uh, it is a banana pudding with these vanilla wafers. It's one of those things that's like my mom used to make. And it's like, you know, like moms have like a Ooh. recipe that has like some martyrdom inside and it makes it taste extra good. And <laughs> I don't know how to do that. So I made my version and I hope you like it. Here is it, vanilla cake. Mums have martyrdom inside. Yes, they, they have the sainthood of being <laughs> like, you ruined my vagina and my life. Everything <laughs> I will make you will taste amazing because you can never achieve this level of sainthood. I've never sensed that in my mum's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Does. Hello. I mean, you're going to crash straight ahead of these two, I know it. What have you brought in that's got layers? I bought a load of my jackets and I put as many as humanly possible on Alex. There I am, in all his coats. <laughs> and let me explain why I can justify why I did this. Okay. Please justify, because I can, I can feel these people moving forward on their seats. Yes. <laughs> 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 What I would argue is that this show and possibly your role yeah. wouldn't be what it is without him. Yeah. And therefore, him in all my coats... Can I tell you? Yeah. You've just blown it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, it's looking real tasty right now, huh? Um, yeah. Man. Uh -huh. If someone could tell me a joke while I was filling my face full of that pudding. <laughs> <laughs> well, God. Vegetable lasagna. Vegetable lasagna, here it is. Right. <laughs> Not even one that looks nice. <laughs> I like to eat mine in the dark. 
okay? <laughs> it's creamy, it's it's comforting, Jesus. it's delicious. <laughs> There's no meat in it because I'm saving the planet. Yeah. Sometimes the things that look the worst taste scrumptious. Yeah. yeah. I've been yeah. saying that for years. <laughs> <laughs> it's rubbish. Good. Alan. Uh, I have brought in a wig which was made um, in the 90s for a double of me. Here is the wig. <laughs> <laughs> that really was an absolute replica of what, <laughs> what I looked like in about 1997. Has it got layers? It definitely has got yeah. layers. And layers, according to Cosmopolitan, will make your hair more full and swingy and leave you with tresses that just beg to be touched. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Ready? Yes. OK, I'm going to give one point right. to uh, Morgana's lasagna because it was rubbish. Mm. <laughs> I won! <laughs> I'm going to give twice as many points to Victoria's joke, and I want you to reflect on that. I'm giving three points to Gus because you spoke positively about Alex, and I don't like him. <laughs> I'm giving four points to you because the banana layered cake looked delicious, and I feel sorry for what you did to your mum. Yeah. And finally, just to annoy everybody, I'm giving a man who found an old wig in his attic... <laughs> Five points. That's Taskmaster. <laughs> and if you don't like it, <laughs> tough shit. <laughs> Five points to tweet, tweet as much as you like. <laughs> At me. Five points to Alan Davies. Outrageous. Well, come on, let's get going. Yeah, well, slow down, Speed Demon. Let's just take it nice and easy, reduce the pace, and have a race. Hello. Hi, guys. You all right? Complete the course as slowly as possible. I need a wee. <laughs> you must be riding the bicycle forwards within the limits of the course at all times. Every time you put a foot on the ground, the clock will be paused and your final time will be half. That is not very nice. If you leave the course or miss an instruction, your time will also be halved and the clock will be paused until you are back in position. Slowest wins. Your time starts when Alex fires his starter's pistol in five minutes from now. Alex, is there anything really basic that you don't know how to do? <laughs> what can't you do, Victoria? I never really learned to ride a bicycle. Ah. OK, so... First, a red water balloon in this bucket. Are you joking? I have to do something as well as riding a bike. Where is he? Take the hat from the mannequin and put it on the other mannequin. Fun times. Ah, oh, read the letter. On a bicycle. Are you good at cycling? Well, I mean, I can cycle. How hard can this be? You don't have one with stabilisers, I suppose. No. I mean, I've seen it done. It's not like... Ah! OK. Ah! Literally, uh, we, uh, how long have I got to learn to ride a bike? I mean, One minute. One minute. <laughs> ah! But how do you make it stop? Shit! <laughs> ah! How are you feeling? Ugh, like I've just been high-beamed in the crotch, really. Well, we can already see that all five of our mighty contestants are going to be hilarious during this. There is one attempt that I am looking forward to more than the others. Can you guess who it is? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? The thing is, I'm feeling quite liberated. Well, I could, hang on a minute, before you go off on one. <laughs> Let me ask you a direct question. Yes. Why can't you ride a bike? I just thought, you know, we were in central London. There was a lot of traffic. I never, I never I mean, had a bike. I mean, the fact that you're prepared to have a go at it is yeah. delicious. <laughs> and just check, you're happy with the phrase, high beamed in the crotch? <laughs> I, I was more than happy with high beamed in the crotch. <laughs> Did you have a choice of bike? Yes, but that other bike is too small. I'm going to look like a bear in a circus, like, trying to do that <laughs> thing. And so I just had to take the men's bike. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> right, let's go. OK, well, first of all, we're going to see Alan, Desiree and Morgana. On your marks, get set, slow. OK, good luck, Alan. Good luck, Morgana. Thank you. Good luck, Desiree. Jesus. Your time starts. Task. <laughs> this is going way too fast. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. What do I do? Well, what does the instruction say? Start again. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. <laughs> I've just paused the clock. It'll be back on when you get to where you were. Uh -oh. Ooh. Ah! Their time is totally the charm. But no, come, come back here. Oh, God. OK. All right. <laughs> OK. What's going on? I need that hat, though. Ah! OK. No, I'm this one. Oh, my oh, my God. This is gonna be the first time I've ever been fast at anything. God. Get on there! Oh. <laughs> I can't reach it. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. You're circling him. Ah! Stop, you bastard. Stop. Ah. I am a speedy cyclist. <laughs> oh, no. ah. I'm a speedy cyclist. No way. <laughs> I'll stop the talk. Oh. Yeah. I'm a speedy cyclist. I am a speedy cyclist. I've stopped the clock. Thank you, Morgana. Welcome. Throughout the series so far, I've tried not to be ageist towards Alan because I'm a man of a uh, certain vintage myself, but I couldn't help but thinking that's how you ride a bike anyway. <laughs> Very much so. That's right. I know you were worried about, you know, being high beamed in the crotch, but <laughs> my feeling was it was like ballet watching you. <laughs> Just poised. It's never been said about me, so I will receive it um, as though it were sincere. <laughs> <laughs> well, Garner, try to do a little cheap little whistle when Alex's back was turned. <laughs> if only we'd remembered all those pesky cameras. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really tell from the video how well they did, so give me some statistics. Yeah, well, I can tell you that Morgana made a mistake with the balloon. It was meant to be a red balloon. Oh, man. I didn't read that. So, and she was also fairly quick on the bicycle. She did the whole course in 68 seconds. She made nine mistakes, so 68 divided by two nine times. She did the whole course in one sixteenth of a second. Oh. <laughs> Whereas Alan did it in 72 seconds, made five mistakes. That divided by two five times is two and a half seconds. And Desiree, 84 seconds, five mistakes. So she is the slowest so far. 2.625 seconds. <laughs> For the final race, we've got Gus Khan. And in the interest of contrast, first time cyclist Victoria Corrin Mitchell. Here we go. <laughs> Good luck, Gus. OK, brother. On your marks, get set, task. Oh. <laughs> yeah! OK. Oh. You haven't crossed the line yet, it's all right. Okay. All right. We're off. Ah! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Do you think the trick is constant motion? For how it works? OK. Ah! Uh, I have to pick up a thing? Yes, please. But I, that's so dangerous! <laughs> right, I'm going to have to stop to pick it up. OK. <laughs> OK, OK, come on. There we go. There, there. Ah! Uh, Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I can't! Oh. I was actually psyched up to drop it in and then I didn't. I can't do it with one hand. There we go. Oh! Okay, 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 there we go. There! Ah! 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 I can't! No, I'm sorry. You can't do this with one hand. <laughs> I 
it's too fast, it's too fast. Put that on there. I'm a speedy cyclist. I am a speedy cyclist. Now I've got to post it. Uh, it goes very quickly down here! Oh, my God! Oh, God. I stopped the clock. Is it finished? Oh, God. God. <laughs> Stop the clock. Can I try riding it a bit more? I feel like I've found a new skill. <laughs> huh. ah! Do you know, without the stress of the tasks, it's actually much easier. Look at that. Oh, my God. Oh! It's actually quite touching yeah. to see you learn to ride a bike. And yet, I was still hoping you'd crash into that hedge. <laughs> <laughs> Guz, I thought you were just magnificent at this yeah. task up until the final pedal technique, which I'm fascinated by. The pedal and down, I'm going to call it. Yeah, it's because I had to get off. It was really hurting, and I said it to him about ten times. And did he help you? No, of course not. You, I heard, you heard him in the task. I asked him a question, and his response was all right. It wasn't even answered the question. I'm intrigued <laughs> as to what Gus did because uh, up until pedalling down, yes, he looked like a professional. He looked good, but he was fast. Sixty-four seconds he completed the course. Oh. Seven mistakes. So when you do the maths, his final time was half a second. Okay, and how did the person who's never ridden a bike before? Oh, she was the slowest time out of everyone. Ninety-five seconds. Uh, she was stationary for quite a lot of the time. Uh, <laughs> eight times she put the foot down, so ended up with 0.124, just under an eighth of a second. So she comes fourth. <whistles> Morgana is last, but the winner of the task, with 2.65 seconds, was Desiree Perch. Yeah. Desiree Perch! Yes, yeah. yeah. Now, what does that do for our scoreboard? OK, well, we've got joint leaders. It's these two. Desiree and Alan have nine points. <laughs> Let's have another one. Yes, and now for a nice round of toast. Hello, Alan. Hi. Do you want to go into the kitchen? Oh, you probably shouldn't stick that kind of thing in the toaster. It's a bit dangerous, isn't it? It's very dangerous. Hey? Be very careful. It's not a trick if I had asthma. It's a lot of danger in here. Ah! I don't feel very well. Spread jam on a slice of toast in a really cool way. Cool as jam spreading wins. I have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. No, oh, I did Oh, God. If I knew what cool was, I would not have arrived at this point in my life. And it's on a blow my trumpet here, brother. I think the public perception of me is that I'm quite cool. <laughs> <laughs> if you are cool, Gus, what makes cool? Because, honestly, you look pretty frightened when that toaster went up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, OK, listen, I would, I would argue that something popping out that was on fire <laughs> at anybody True. would make them not look cool. True. So when I really... I was like, OK, I might be cool. It's when I was a teacher. You yeah. were also a teacher. I was. And when I was the guy that would walk in school in the morning, the kids would be like, yes, can't, why won't we do? I'd be like, yeah, 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 firms is this and that. And then when my colleagues came in, the kids would be like, you're a dickhead. So I was like, <laughs> yeah. The level of cool is up there, That's and right. everyone else is a dickhead. <laughs> it's, a fair, it's a fair point. Yes, Good. That's point I'm making. Good, that does make you cool, being friends with the children. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Who's missing first? We're going to begin with Morgaza. Morgaza. Here they are. Uh, let me do one just with my natural flavour, OK? OK. Let me see if you think this is cool, all right? OK. <laughs> Got to pull that one out. See, see, I did that. Flicked it. Ow, oh, shit! <laughs> that's not so cool, but I burnt myself for real. I think that's the whole freezer. <laughs> it 
in bed with Morgana. Now. Now! Ow! Are you ready? Yes. I need some bit more enthusiasm, my G. Are you ready, babe? Oh, yes. <laughs> like that. So close. All right, thanks, Morgado. Cool guys. A lot of cool going on in there. God said, let me just do one with my natural flavour. <laughs> 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 then you uh, flick the lid of the jam jar off. Yeah. At yeah. that point, I was thinking, that's, that's not that cool. <laughs> then you burnt your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, oh, no, that isn't... No, that's definitely not cool. <laughs> and then... He shattered my expectations. Ooh. Oh. Because I am surprised by how cool I found applying jam to toast with two croquet mallets. Yeah. <laughs> I actually did find myself going, that's pretty cool. Um, Morgana, I think you may have misread the task. <laughs> we wanted you to try and look cool while putting jam on some toast. I think you might have read, have a full breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> I generally have... I'll have one of those every day. <laughs> <laughs> what was that that you popped down your uh, top? Cornetto! That, was, that was in bed with Madonna. It was a terrible idea. When I was using my coolometer throughout, mm. I thought, oh, this is awful. We probably need to intervene. Yeah. And, until right <laughs> at the end, when you took a little bite of your pea-covered jam toast, yeah. I thought, mm, fairly cool. <laughs> <laughs> cool as you like. Let's see some others. OK, two really cool people next. They're your classic jam spreaders, Alan and Desiree. <laughs> That's cool. Hey, toast. Hey, little toasty. <sighs> Just got to say, really. It's all in the eye of the beholder, isn't it? You know what's really cool is... Oh. I love you. I love you so much. You will be a whole Ah. Ah. Fine, get away! I never loved you! It's always cool to have one pair sort of in your... Isn't it? Yeah. It's quite cool to have one pair on top of your head. Wow. Oh, that felt really cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess I should put a political statement up here. But first, it would be super cool if her boobies stayed up. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, no! It'd be hard pressed to think of a cooler way. Whole strawberry there. Is there? I'll just mention that for health and safety reasons, because that the power of this thing. So all the kids are socialists these days. He's swaggering around the hotel gardens. Oh, no, he's going to blow leaves. He's going to blow leaves. What's the point? But actually... <laughs> that... That is a game-changer. This is temporary. It's going to rain, but the memory of what was once there will still have an impact. <laughs> the coolest thing I saw was Alan ringing that little bell. <laughs> it, is it cool to spit lick some jam onto toast? <laughs> it felt rock and roll. I don't think it's going to get you invited to cool parties. <laughs> I'll get that girl that spits jam onto toast. <laughs> <laughs> there was a moment where I thought that Alan... <laughs> The Alan walking around the garden with three pairs of sunglasses on, <laughs> with a leaf blower in his hand and some jam toast in one hand. I thought, well, there is something quite cool yeah. about that. <laughs> but it was when you started blowing jam from the blower onto the toast that you lost cool points. <laughs> An anti-capitalist stance is certainly cool. Yes, right? I'm not sure the anti-capitalist stance was driven home by the toasted woman. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, but you know, like sex is still used to get across messages even in politics, you know? Yeah, well, I'm listen, who am I to judge, but... Well, you're the taskmaster. Uh, but, yeah, but... I, <laughs> who, who am I to judge whether a square-titted toast woman is sexy or not? <laughs> is what I mean. There's just one hip cat left. It's Victoria. My question, Alex, both about this task... I mean, it's a question I've been asking since I was a teenager. Who decides what's cool? Since you were a teenager, Greg Davis has always decided what's cool. What I think cool is, you know, customising your own inhaler. You know what I mean? Like, having different glasses for different occasions. Not necessarily a motorbike. <laughs> This is another thing about cool people. They're daredevils, aren't they? They have little regard for their own health. My thinking is, right, that by using the spade for gardening, look, it's got some... And then spreading it like that. If I eat this toast and don't think about what might have been on the spade or the germs or what might happen to me, a lot of people will be preoccupied with, you know, what if they got a bit ill and they got a bit sick and... Not me. <laughs> wow, that was cool. I virtually don't care. Is it gritty? I'm not delighted by it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's disgusting. But cool, yes. Thanks, Victoria. <laughs> have you um, ever customised your own <laughs> inhaler? <laughs> I have done that, yes. <laughs> oh, you have. Did you bedazzle your inhaler? Yeah. You stuck jewels to it? Yeah. Well, not jewels, but little glittery stickers. Oh, Victoria. But as you can see from there, I just... I don't fear death. Uh, in fact, the more this series goes on, the more I yearn for it. <laughs> <laughs> that is literally the only cool thing about it. Here we go, then. <laughs> I am going to put Desiree and Morgana on two points each. Although there were cool moments, the overall flavour was unhinged. <laughs> <laughs> not cool. <laughs> Coolest people are on the hinge. I'm going to give three points just because of her defiance to the jam spreading trial wielder <laughs> that is Victoria Corin Mitchell. Three cool points. Okay. Here we go. And just because he dinged that bell beautifully, and then when he held the leaf blower for a beat and looked around the garden as if he doesn't care what people think, I'm going to give Alan an undeserved four points. Wow. Three pairs of sunglasses. Four and points. Gus, undeniably, changing the future of croquet, <laughs> single-handedly, <laughs> is the coolest person here, five points, go yeah. Khan. Yeah. There yeah. Khan. Yeah. Have we got time for one other? We probably have. It's probably a team one, and it's probably riddled with tasks. Hello, Deborah. Hello. Hello, Alan. Where's Alex? Hmm. Solve the riddle. Solve the riddle. Solve the riddle. You must, you must all, all stay, stay in your rooms. Rooms? Fastest wins. Your time starts now. Also, you will get two bonus points if you can make one of your teammates say submarine. You may not say submarine at any point. If they think you've tried to make them say submarine, you lose two points. Your time starts now. The, the, the proper etiquette with riddles is that you tell someone the riddle and then they, they solve it. So just, just putting that out there. Right, so I'll, I'll... Suggestion for the suggestion box. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone else find Alex not telling you what the riddle was irritating? <laughs> Yeah. The whole uh, thing yeah. was a pain in the arse, this one, wasn't it? <laughs> the worst shit I've ever... Honestly. <laughs> so Morgana had her own personal task in that caravan. She was mainly meant to make these two people say the word submarine and okay. they didn't know anything about it. Let's play on. We're going to see the team of two, first of all. Here's how our super-intelligent quiz show legends got on. <laughs> uh, Natash. I've got a really big head. Solve the riddle. You may only open me when someone looks like Charlie Chaplin. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Victoria.
Victoria. Yeah. Can you hear me? Oh, yes. My task says solve the riddle fastest wins. So does mine. I've also got a jigsaw with letters on the back, a piece of paper with some coded letters, and an envelope. Have you got anything? I've got a bell, an orange, and attached to my table is a bowler hat and a moustache. Can you make yourself look like Charlie Chaplin and tell me when you've done that? Copy that. <laughs> Just do the jigsaw. I now look like Charlie Chaplin. Excellent. In that case, I'm going to look at an envelope. Copy that. Inside the envelope is a diagram. It could be a picture of a room with an X marking something. On one side of it, there's a big square. To the left, there'd be an X on the wall. Sorry, Victoria, I'm not seeing any Xs. The X is behind something that might also be a door or a window. I've nearly finished the jigsaw, though. I mean, it's missing some pieces, which doesn't help. So I think you might have the other half. I think I've found the jigsaw pieces. OK, I'm going to attempt to decipher this code. G must equal T. That'll be L. Do your edges, do your edges first. Always a good idea to find the corners. What if you haven't got any corners? Just crack on. F must be S. Oh, oh no, where's the rest of his head? What is greater than T? <laughs> I bet there should be a comma. <laughs> a equals E, B equals L. Is B L. Hi, Victoria. Yes, and I've nearly deciphered it. Just give me one more minute. A is E. Oh, is there something I'm supposed to decipher? I've got a pen. I'm nearly done. I don't know what J is, but I'll, I'm nearly there. J equals C. How do you know that? Because I've got a code on the back of my jigsaw. Oh, you've got the early letters. What E equals Y? E equals Y. OK, I think this is the riddle. What is greater than the taskmaster, more evil than the devil? Alex has it. The taskmaster needs it. If you eat it, you'll die. What if the answer is nothing? Does that work? Alex has nothing. The taskmaster needs nothing. And if you eat nothing, you'll die. Oh, that's pretty good. Is nothing the answer? Do you want me to stop the clock? Yeah. I've stopped the clock. Alex has stopped the clock. Thank you very much. Well, seeing Victoria spring into life there, it was like watching an athlete in her prime. <laughs> yeah. This is my task, she thought, and she just got on with it, barely stopping to think whether Alan could contribute. <laughs> <laughs> Which is merciful, because Alan, to me, seemed to take on the persona of Charlie Chaplin <laughs> and just sort of <laughs> mooch about the space. <laughs> I mean, I have to say, we didn't think anyone could solve it with only half the jigsaw, but she managed to do it. It's yeah. very much a task drawn from the world of the customised inhaler. <laughs> <laughs> well done to both. <laughs> yeah, their time was 33 minutes and 33 seconds, and there's a lot to work out there, so that's pretty quick. Can the team of three, with their extra brain, complete the task in less than 30 minutes? Can Morgana make her teammates say the word submarine? Surely it won't be the longest task we've ever filmed. Let's see how they got on. <laughs> Hello, guys, can you hear me? So what is that sound? Hello, Morgana, Desiree. Is that helpful? Hello, Desiree, are you there? It's your friend, Goose. It's my friend who? Hello, 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 hello. Hello? Do you have any clues for me? I've got a jigsaw. Yeah, what have you got? I've got a bell, a pen, and a clementine. And a jigsaw. No, you have the jigsaw. Guys, can you hear me? Hello, Morgs. Hey, what do you have in your room? No, we already got your jigsaw puzzle down, guys. Morgana, what do you have in your room? I have, you know, like the Beatles. You have the Beatles in your room? Like an album? Yes. It's yellow. It's a yellow submarine? I think that's it, baby. What have you got? He's just got a jigsaw puzzle, apparently. 
I've got three oh, rubber ducks. Why is that, like man? Hello, is this is a good corner with the information over. So it says on the back of this piece of paper, you may only open me when someone looks like Charlie Chaplin. Hello, guys. This is goes with another revelation. Would you like the revelation now? Over. Well, I don't know if I do. I've just found a glue-on mustache and a bowler hat. But what about this revelation? Over. Sure, just give us the revelation then. So on the back of this puzzle, there are letters and an equal sign on some of them. But once Desiree looks like Charlie Chaplin, then we can crack open his envelope. Over. You can crack open the clue. This goes with another revelation, over. And now I have the map of something. It look like a pair of doors. And there's an X on it. Does it look like you can figure out where the X is located? Probably not. I just had an idea. Can you put the map out into the corridor? So you're both technically still in your rooms, but you can show each other your stuff? Presumably. Is that the double doors? OK, so if that's the case, the X is on this wall. OK, I'm going to make my jigsaw. It's here somewhere. Hold on, I found another puzzle. Guys, there's been another revelation in the lab. So many revelations. <laughs> letters, letters upon letters. USVG. Ludger, Yacht. Avaga, Ludger, Little Bibi. It's like a cipher for kids. So the letter A equals E. B is L. Guys, have you assembled your half of the puzzle? Over. Sorry, guys, I was temporarily distracted. Could you just repeat Fuck that? me in the face. He <laughs> <laughs> said O equals O. W equals P. And that is the end of the jigsaw. I'm not sure it's the end. I haven't had V. <sighs> v for Veronica is... Who the fuck is Veronica? <laughs> v, victory. What does victory equal, guys? Romeo. V equals T. How can it be? How can two things be T? Can you retrieve this whole puzzle from me, please? Zulu equals golf. Sorry to cut you off. I can send the Taskmaster's assistant to just get Guz's half of the puzzle, if you're OK with that, Guz. Why didn't we do that 45 minutes ago? Yeah, send it. <laughs> Give the old bloody lot, just in case. Hey, mate. Oh, you are a wonderful human being. Thank you so much. Z is G, K, oh, God. Greater than the T, A, task. All right, y'all, I got this riddle. Are you ready for it? Yes! What is greater than the taskmaster, more evil than the devil, and if you eat it, you'll die? What is greater than the Taskmaster? Nothing. More evil than the devil, nothing. Alex has nothing. And if you eat nothing, you'll die. The answer to the riddle is nothing. Oh my god, you've only gone and fucking done it. Literally, this entire hour has amounted to nothing, you guys. <laughs> well, now, firstly, congratulations on your bonus points for Submarine. Secondly, I'm no expert in body language, but something told me that Desiree was maybe a little bit irritated with girls during that. <laughs> as frustrating as that was to watch, it was 50 times more frustrating because we kind of quibbled over how we were even deciphering, like, which word to use for which letter. Like, there was so much confusion. Surely girls helped by repeatedly contacting you and saying there's been another revelation. <laughs> Wrong. I loved your song, <laughs> which I believe was called This Task Is Shit. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what it was called. <laughs> it took Guz 41 minutes to actually find the riddle, which was just on the table in front of him. Got there in the end, though. It was longer than Beethoven's ninth. <laughs> yep. Which, was, which changed music and history forever, of course. Wow. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, and one hour, 33 minutes. You so don't I... think uh, the song This Task Is Shit is going to hold up against <laughs> that, though? <no? laughs> It's an hour longer than the team of two. Wow. Well, I'm going to give um, five points 
to Alan and Victoria, and Alan can thank Victoria heartily <laughs> for those five points. So how many points do you want to give for the team of three? I want to give them two points each. Two points each. Morgana gets a bonus two for Submarine, so she gets four. But Victoria and Alan get five points each. There it is. <laughs> Quick look at the scores. Right. Morgana is ten points behind the current leader, which is Alan with 18 points. <laughs> right. Please leave your seats behind and head to the stage for the final task of the show. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi. Hello, Greg. Hello. Alex, who's going to read the task out? Desiree Birch is going to read the task out, please. Oh, dear. It's never been that hard before. OK. Get the most forks in your bucket. You may only throw a fork after a full spin on your chair. You must stay sat in your chair at all times, and you may not move your chair. You have 100 seconds. So we've got to stay in the chair. Spin, and then we've got to throw. We can't move the bucket, we can't go to the bucket. No, and at the end, we'll tot up the forks in the bucket. If other people's forks are in your bucket, then you get their fork. OK. You've got 100 seconds. What? Full spin before you throw. Yeah. Always a full spin oh. before you throw. Oh, oh wow! On yeah. <laughs> Alan and Desiree straight in. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> oh, another successful green. Another Ooh. green. <gasps> Does one stuck in the floor count? Greg. I think Alan looks quite cool. It <laughs> does. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> Alan. <laughs> right. <laughs> Rich. Oh, oh wow, wow, nice. Beautiful. Oh, oh God, lovely. Right. Beautiful. A lot of greens going uh, in. Okay. Mike is bouncing out every time. Oh, oh so annoying. <laughs> that was <an> absolutely <laughs> delightful, Victoria. Straight in. That was really good fun. Again, again, again! <laughs> I mean, that is genuinely the happiest I've seen any of you <laughs> so far on this show. Right, well, come down and we'll add that to the final scores and see how you did. Well done, everyone. <laughs> Hello. 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 That was exciting, wasn't it? So many forks and so many buckets. <laughs> Had a lovely old time. It didn't take me long to count up Guz's forks. Bearing in mind, at the end, he didn't spin for the last five. Didn't you? Got a long drive home. I don't want to get too dizzy, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Fair enough priority, isn't it? <laughs> so Gus got two. Then we move up to Desiree. <laughs> there were four forks in her bucket. Two from her, two from Alan. Yeah, thank you. Pleasure. Yeah. Alan, meanwhile, had six forks in his bucket, all from his own hand. So oh, it's lovely. Be it's between Victoria and Morgana. How exciting. Morgana got two forks in Victoria's bucket. <gasps> Victoria lucky. got five forks in her own bucket, so a total of seven. Seven yeah. forks. Seven I looked forks. in Morgana's bucket and I saw one of Guz's forks, but ten of her own, so with ah. eleven ah. fork total, wow. she gets the five points. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, Morgana. What does that do to the final scoreboard? She may have come last in the first three episodes. She is not in this one. Victoria comes second and Alan comes first with yeah. 21 points. Alan Davis wins. Please go and luxuriate in your many layers. Woo! So what have we learned today? Well, I read an article recently that said that Samuel L. Jackson was the coolest man on the planet. But did Samuel L. Jackson ever learn to ride a bike on national television? I'm fairly <laughs> sure he didn't. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now! <laughs>